In a 1927 publicity coup, Jenkins unveiled the first long-distance television transmission in history. Jenkins convinced Herbert Hoover, then Secretary of Commerce, to take part in sending an intercity television image from Washington to New York. After first burning his forehead on the hot lights, a crude 48-lined image appeared on the screen. The future president spoke for two minutes, followed by his wife. She was concerned that the device not be used to read minds. Mechanical television had struck the first blow. England was becoming the first battleground to decide the future format of television. England had its own inventor, James Baird, an eccentric Scotsman best known for his invention of the electric sock for soldiers in World War I. As early as 1923, Baird had built a working mechanical television and he was about to convince the BBC to adopt mechanical as the standard for England. Jenkins convinced Herbert Hoover, then Secretary of Commerce, to take part in sending an intercity television image from Washington to New York. After first burning his forehead on the hot lights, a crude 48-lined image appeared on the screen. The future president spoke for two minutes, followed by his wife. She was concerned that the device not be used to read minds. She was concerned that the device not be used to read minds. She was concerned that the device not be used to read minds. She was concerned that the device not be used to read minds.